There you are. Welcome back. This is Moon Knight, a model by Photos Mint printed on the Nexa 3D Zip in their X-Flex 475 flexible material. This is Moon Knight by Photos Mint printed on the Nexa 3D Zip in their X-Flex 475 material. They look different because not the material, not the machine, not the model, but the post-processing workflow. This one, slightly discolored, was treated with isopropyl alcohol, a dirty bath, and then a clean bath. This one was given the same dirty bath and clean bath. However, there's a secret. Mold release, smooth on, universal mold release. This and a water bath during cure for an extended period of time are the difference between a tacky discolored model and a smooth, perfectly colored model. And I'm excited to show you the process to do this. So let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is print the model. And we're using the Nexa 3D Zip right here with their X-Flex 475 resin. Let me open the door. There we go. So you can see I've got a build plate in there and I have a fresh vat. So what I've got here is the X-Flex 475. <laughs> it was upside down. Here it is. It comes in this tube. It's got an NFC in the back so the machine will recognize what it is. This is going to insert from the top down like this. And then it goes into well, a little upright column in the back of the vat and that starts the filling process. Once the vat is filled, then we can start our print. The resin slowly but surely will fill this area. You see it slowly moving across. I thought I would jump in here because this is the print process going on and what you see here is a resin lapse, time lapse being filmed. I did a YouTube short about this showing you the DIY way I went about it and I think it's interesting. I'll put that link down in the description, but just so you know, this is how the cookies are made. Look at that, the print is done. Less than two hours for that print in flexible resin, that's pretty quick. This is a bit of the fun part because now we get to see how this comes off the build plate. It's really cool because it's a flexible resin. When it's not cured, it does not have a high tensile strength. So the supports come off really easily. It's just really interesting, this whole process. So let's first get these models off of the build plate. <laughs> Look at that. Moon Knight in the stand are now ready for the next step. The next step is called dirty IPA. And what I mean by dirty IPA, it's isopropyl alcohol that's used as the first dip anytime you complete a resin print. It's gonna be the IPA that removes the majority of the uncured resin on the outside of your model. And that's why you kind of see a sediment at the bottom here because it's, it's the isopropyl alcohol that's removing the most uncured material. Two minutes is what we have to do this for. Two minutes. Two minutes later. Once you've rinsed in dirty IPA, they say to use clean IPA now. Clean IPA is the isopropyl alcohol that you dip the model in after the dirty IPA. Two minutes. This is the clean IPA, which means there's little to less or not sediment at the bottom. So we can actually use the wash cycle, which is great. There's Moon Knight. The Moon Knight model has now been washed twice. Once in what's called dirty IPA and once in a clean IPA. So from here it's drying and using the Smooth On Universal Mold Release. My go-to tool at this time is an air compressor. This is by Kato. Uh, it's, it just passes air at a high velocity over the model, which evaporates some of the isopropyl alcohol, and that's exactly what we need to do. We need to have it dry for the next step. So, loud noises in three, two, one. 
So this Moon Knight model is now dry, but it's still tacky. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Once dried, uh, like I said, they are tacky, but they're dry. The tackiness stays on the model. It doesn't come off on your finger. Now, let me get set up to apply the mold release. To spray the mold release, I'm gonna put both models atop this piece of PLA plastic, and I'm just gonna separate them like that. Now to spray on the mold release. This will work. Just like that, the mold release has been sprayed on. Now we wait 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. Mold release is paired with curing in water to inhibit the oxygen from getting to it while it's being cured. So the models just drop in. Bye, Moon Knight. They're hollow, so you gotta turn them upside down so all the air comes out of the holes at the bottom. Oh, that's perfect. Now to cure this, we need to move this off because the wash and cure station comes back. Here's the steps. Put the rotating platform on, take the glass full of model water and smooth on mold release. <laughs> now we gotta put the hood on. You can see the inside is lined with a bunch of reflective material, which is gonna help the UV rays get where they need to go. Now what do we set it for? Well, first we put it into cure and then for X-Flex 475, we put it at 60 minutes. 60 minutes is the cure time for X-Flex 475 models covered in smooth on mold release and put in water. Time to go. One hour later. Look at that, 60 minutes has elapsed. Let's take a look and see what has become of that Moon Knight model. Well, here we go, it's in the water. We can take the water out, and then we're gonna take the thing out of the water. Uh, it's water, so. Oh, it's definitely changed its uh, its consistency. It is, uh, it, it's, it's harder. It's not as flexible or pliable, and so you can tell that the material itself did go through a change. So, I mean, we can still, we can do stuff like that. <laughs> the next step is to wash off the mold release and, and then you're done. And to do that, you just swish it around in some isopropyl alcohol. We've got our uh, clean IPA. There's the dirty and the clean, so we're gonna use the clean and we just have to do this for a few more minutes. Two minutes is up, let's take it out. Here we go. And just like last time, we're gonna use the air compressor to Dry it off. So, loud sounds in three, two, one. No, God, please, no! Bam, just like that, we are done. This is the Moon Knight by Fotis Mint, printed on the Nexa Zip, using their X-Flex 475 flexible material, and we did it. We did it, we actually did it. We went through that entire process. We utilized the mold release and the curing in water for 60 minutes, and I think that's the difference because here is the previous one, and here is the one made without the mold release. Look at that. So this one, this one right here is the one we just made. We made that one, they're a little crooked. This one is the one that I made before when I did my first process with the mold release and the 60 minute cure time in water. And this one is just a few dunks in isopropyl alcohol. You can see the difference. This one looks like this and not like this. And that's important. So now my question to you is, what do you think of this process? Do you think that mold release and a longer extended cure time in water is beneficial to other flexible resins? Or do you think that mold release and the extended cure time in water would be applicable to other more firm resins. That's what I'm looking for at this point because I find it fascinating how well this works and how different the material looks depending on if we utilize this process. 
So now I want to utilize this on other resins or, or have you, have you utilized this process on other resins? If you have, let me know. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Well, thanks for coming along on this journey of discovery. I'm really excited I got to bring it to you and I thank you for making this far. Because if you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Cure all the things. And as always, high five.